Hello everyone, I'm Micah. This is the Ringgate Media Group. <laughs> we're watching so dead inside. We are watching Nostalgia Critics Ernest Scared Stupid. I have to tell this story because I know I've told it and they say I haven't. Okay. You haven't. So, I don't remember this. So this movie scared the ever loving crap out of me when I was a kid. The trolls were just terrifying. <laughs> I was young. Um and so my brother, being a good, the good big brother that he is. Um, so we were going Good, to visit, of course, being in heavy air quotes. We were, um, this was a while ago. We were kids. So like two weeks ago, <laughs> going to my grandparents, it was dark. So he's walking ahead, whatever. So I'm kind of trailing behind. So he falls to the ground and half rolls under my grandparents' car screaming and saying that something's got his leg. So of course I go bananas and take off running. And my mom grabs me. So I don't like run off and get hit by a car. And, of course, he's just laughing the whole time because I was like, man, like, the trolls are out there. They're going to get me. He's like, oh, it's fine. Ah, oh, the trolls got me. And Jesus. It, it was, Typical Big Brother fashion. It was traumatic. So, yeah, that was. it's been a hard two weeks since that happened. Okay, I, on the one hand, I can 100% picture Caleb doing yeah. this, voice and all. I could, too. I mean, but it was like, seriously, though, I was, I mean, I was probably like five or something. On the other hand. It was scary. I don't okay? know why I'm surprised. The dark is scary. Well, also, this is t pretty typical for your brother. And trolls are scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, unless you got fire. They're still scary. Or in this case, milk. Barbarian meak. So, yeah, I love and hate this movie. <laughs> There we go. Uh, yeah, all right. That's uh, okay. story time with Micah. Let's mm. do this thing. Now that that's out of the way. Yep. <sighs> all right. Nostalgia Critic, Just Ernest Scared Stupid. Fired up. Jesus. Hello, I'm a Nostalgia Critic. This is an old MC so You video. don't have to. Yep. Well, every year I always do some sort of special Halloween episode. But this year, fuck it. I'm doing the entire month. So get ready, kids. All through October, you're going to experience Nostalgia Ween. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Whoa. Yep. That is cool. What way to start off this terrifying month and with Lucy a probably deserved movie. it. Oh. Not really scary, just terrifying. I mean, Let's take a look at Ernest kind of an awful person. She is. For being an entrepreneur and protecting her property. Well, Ernest movie to be shown in <laughs> the theaters football and thing. God, yeah, it's her probably can't from kick other people's stuff. Ernest lives up to its title. Yeah. It has Ernest. It's stupid, and it's scary in its own right. And that the idea of sitting in this ass testicle of a movie scares the living shit out of me. So right? He gets it. Immense. This is Ernest scared stupid. <coughs> so the credits open with Ernest, played again by Jim Varney, as he reacts to cheesy, scary movies that are probably more entertaining than this cheesy, scary movie. Did one of the stagehands save the director's life so he promised him a pointless one second in a movie? Doesn't even make sense. I mean, if I for one second changed into somebody else, would it add up? Oh, Batman. No, no one. <laughs> As the credits continue, we see that the movie was written by John Cherry and Coke Sams. So yes, this movie was officially written by Cherry Coke. That's oh. how strange an experience we're in for, folks. We're in a movie written by a soda. Fasten your seatbelts. So we open with a girl being chased by the evil dead monster as it finally corners her up against Oh yeah, the, the Sam Raimi. You're not Points Stop smiling. But the monster is captured and buried under an oak tree because maybe he makes good fertilizer. As we cut to years later where Ernest P. Whirl now has a job as a garbage truck driver. Dead. Dead. Hey, this movie might have a happy ending after all. I was wondering why the running time was only two minutes. <laughs> yes, even God wants you dead, Ernest. That'll teach you for saying Mellow Yellow is better than Mountain Dew. How dare you. This is... Okay, good. No, shut them all down. Hurry! <laughs> No need 
need to thank me a little, lady. Just some routine hero work. You know, we're gonna have a hard enough time stomaching Varney's impressions, kid. I don't think we need your help. Oh, I see. Dead. I guess the stop button calls Dead. the stage hand to push the prop. <laughs> yep. So after that, Ernest is assigned to clean out the yard of a crazy old lady who I think lives in the anus of that garbage monster from Fraggle Rock. Ouch. Well, nobody home. Marty, I've transformed myself into a withering black lady. <laughs> Damn it, Eartha Kitt. You've got no garbage here. Actually, that's Eartha Kitt, and she doesn't seem very happy to see Ernest on her property. You will bring down the curse on us all. Woe to you, all you see the world. Get out of here and don't come back. That was Catwoman, everybody. Adolescents around the world used to jerk off to that. Also, you know, Yzma. The backpack welding torch is great. Pretty scary scream, huh? No. My heart was in my throat. You have a rare gift. Wait, why was she screaming again? That makes no sense. Let's look at the script. Just says here, poorly done transition. P.S. I wish that Santa guy was in this one. So the kids of the neighborhood are putting together a haunted house, or rather a haunted box. But the evil bullies come to mess up their fun. I mean, it could be worse. Bullies, of course. Oh. You buttheads made a big mistake. I'll show you by running away some more. So they tell wow. Ernest about their bully problem to see if there's anything he can do to help. You need to learn a self-defense lesson from Tiny Botswana, that plucky little nation that defeated the giant Ottoman Empire. It was a dark night in Lua Botswana. Huh? That's all right. Uh, no, sorry. Cinema Snob already reviewed Caligula. And besides, I don't want to see you naked. Ah! Huh? We're the Ottomans, and you're not. Sure, I'm scared. You know, it's like one of those guys from an amusement park that tries way too hard to entertain the kids. You know, to the point where they're terrified of him. He got a merit badge in wholesale slaughter. Ah! I don't even get it. Is the kid waiting patiently while he goes to change into every costume? What's the logic behind this? Yeah. Roman, Botswanian, lend me your trees. There ain't no trees in Botswana. Yes, you have costumes. Stop it now. Go make a difference. Ernest in admitted life. cosplay. <laughs> It broke before it even hit it. Do you smell fish? It's not funny. 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 <laughs> so they decide but to that is, that was funny. house to a treehouse. And of course, knowing Ernest, he picks the only one that happens to be the burial ground of an evil satanic demonic being. You know, sheer dumb luck. Oh, Really? Those are the effects we're going to be seeing throughout this movie. See more frightening images in a Count Chocula commercial. Okay, that little ghost was actually kind of cute. A whole world of trees, and you had to pick this one. Flee the fever place. Flee! <sighs> How did she go from cat woman to cat lady? Uh-oh, the prototypes for Bulk and Skull have arrived. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is! This is some pretty sweet tech, actually. <laughs> like, that's... Yeah, it is. talks with the Eartha Kit lady and, for some stupid reason, actually tells him how to summon the troll. Why would she tell him that? He can only be awakened on the night before Halloween. Like tonight. When a whorl. Like you. Places his hand on a tree like this and says, Yea, I call thee forth, Trantor. So this, of course, summons the troll named Trantor. Yep. You ever have one of those days? No. No, I have not. And I don't yeah, wish to have one. That's not very impressive. Now, Trogdor? That would be awesome. <laughs> so the 
troll comes to life and starts Fantastic. turning the children into little wooden dolls because that somehow gives him his power. I'm a bad troll. Ernest, of course, sees the troll and tries to get some help nearby. Is this whole mission in this movie to eat the Sheriff fucking Biden. camera? Yes, yes, it is. Oh, Ernest, slow down. What happened? Ernest, you know what time it is. Maybe old lady Hackmore was right. Maybe it was a troll. Luckily, I was there to beat it within an inch of its face. Wait, hold it. Uh, what's Hackmore? up with the sudden handheld camera? I feel like we're on an episode of Cops. Me and the kids out there trust well, I mean, he is the sheriff. Yeah, but what happened? That and have you realized there's no edits in this scene? We don't see anything else except for the front door. What? Could they only afford one quarter of the house to film it? Good night, Ernest. Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. So the troll heads back to the tree so that he can use the doll to somehow bring the other trolls to life. Look at uh, him. He looks like a caricature of Mickey Rourke playing Willow. Ouch. Ooh. So while Ernest runs around acting like an idiot, big shot. This movie also why I don't eat Brussels sprouts. Old skinny brother from the other Ernest movies make their cameos again. The only strange thing is, that's not the chubby brother. Where'd he go? They were usually the funniest part of the films. Oh well, who knows. Maybe this guy's funnier. Fella comes in here the other day and he says to me, Will Tulip Brothers give me a good deal on an outboard motor and some taxidermy supplies? And I said, Does a fat puppy hate fast cars? Or maybe I'd rather be castrated than listen to him anymore. So the kids talk about whether or not it's possible mm. that Ernest actually did see a troll. Come on, there's no such thing as trolls. But Ernest saw something out of the tree, and he's never lied to us before. Yeah, but he's also gotten a million things wrong. I mean, yeah. I don't know. They're not it's not scared. Lying if you're eh, it's been just a while. Legitimately Let's see Jim Barney and the kid try to outmuck each other again. The troll is getting stronger. He has one child already. Spaw. By now. Just the kids. Listen to the last two lines. Is it weird to say that she looks like Chester A. Bum's grandmother? Hooray! I'm a biracial half-feline cat person! How come I'm that more surprised? So Ernest sets up a trap for the troll before he drops the two kids off at their home. Just leave the troll behind us. Hi, my dad. Tell me what to do. What about the party? You stay here tonight. Ah. Uh. Where did that come from? She never expressed any interest in him before. It just sort of came out of nowhere. In fact, I don't even think that was in the script. I think she's just a horny girl. I mean, look at the boy's face. He's totally shocked when she does He's it. Like, he didn't what? know what was coming. Mm. Uh, just go with it, Austin. We'll edit it out in post. So as the oh, girl shit, likes forgot to edit out in of spontaneous <laughs> boy sex, she can't help but feel a predictable jump scare is about to attack her. Cheap, 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 cha, 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 cha. Cheap, cheap, cha, 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 cha. Oh, Snuffies. It's just Don't. you. He's on the bed. 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 Ah! They're eating her. They're eating me. They're going to eat me. Oh, my God. There's the fucking... Yes, the fly. Right. The fly is the best part yes. of the scene. Yes, it is. He's not done with just her. Soon he starts going after other children as well. So he runs away from the troll in the hopes of giving him the slip. In front and of him. And directly in front of him. him. He's, he's behind him. 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 For God's sake! He's behind him. Oh, what a shark! He's behind him. After the boy finally outruns him, it looks like Ernest might have finally caught the troll in his trap. So he goes to the police to show them the evil, nasty, dangerous troll. I mean, to be fair, if you're gonna... If you're gonna trap one of those in something, slowly, slowly. garbage truck's not bad. Nope. Is the pebble in the penguin seals really can get that big? Ah! So I've had several arguments about it on many blocks. Ah! Actually, it's just two kids dressed as trolls who fell in there. Yeah, didn't see that one coming, did you? 
This finally pisses off his boss as he fires him from his garbage truck job. But does that stop the annoyingly persistent Ernest? Nope. I've never been a quitter. Why? Well, I've never known when to quit. Just ask my fourth grade teacher. And just ask the... He never knew when to quit. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's one funny scene. Yeah. That was one. Yeah. The scared shitless action set is almost complete as he tries to get rid of the only person who apparently can stop it. <laughs> God, he looks like the love child of Large Marge and Gimli. How are we supposed to be afraid of him? I so mean, Rimshot drives the car. Are you really questioning this? Ernest has a fight scene in the back and manages to toss him off. Really? Why doesn't he just put it in reverse? Oh, hey, a smart moment. Those are rare. Why is this thing so hard to stop? I mean, in the opening, he was caught by a net. A fucking net! Yeah, and then and they here, hit the him with a bunch of sticks. Even truck can't stop him. Was he bench pressing all those years he was under that tree? So he makes it back to Kit's house as they come across the page that says how to defeat the Is that the a giant can opener? Yep. Yeah. Could have used that a little earlier, huh? You know, for a woman who knows everything about these monsters, she sure did overlook the page about how to stop them. What, was the book just not sucking her in? Did it lose its edge in the last few pages? Thou canst destroy a patrol with... Uh, M I something K. Yeah, milk. It's obviously milk. Medic? That's it. Authentic Bulgarian <laughs> meat. Look, you don't have to be a Wheel of Fortune wizard to figure this out. It's fucking milk. <sighs> All right, so they make it to the school where they think the troll is going to get his last victim when this happens. This thing looks silly and I'm not going to wear it. Don't you talk back to me. Now you march right in there. I hate you. Well, I'm not too fond of you either. Mommy, I'm sorry. What? What? I love you. What? I love you too. Oh my lord, what? 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 That was Fuller. The family. Seriously, yeah. what was up with that? That was yeah. super That was awkward as hell. Love. That's the heart of a child. What? That wasn't unconditional. She hated the costume, she hated the kid. They had to apologize to make it better. It was based entirely and... on conditions. Fuck it, let's move on. Ernest runs into the Halloween pageant, hoping to save the kids from the trolls' next attack. Oh, hey. Ew, scary costume. I know it's dork when I see one. Zoom, you cocksucking motherfucker! Zoom! <laughs> history, pal. You're Elvis. I'm ready for you. Damn it, Jim Vaughn. Let's see how you like a little... Meak. Yeah, Meak. I bet you thought I couldn't find any this time of year. Well, you know, I'm just gonna spend this part of the movie looking out what Meak is. So come on. So come on. Oh. A rare, slightly antiquated beverage generally produced in Bulgaria, which may or may not be fictional. God damn it, movie! Your fucking fictional beverage is more entertaining than you are. No. Huh. So, of course, the Miak doesn't work, but he's scared away by the ice cream. Why? Because it's so obviously milk! Yep. Rimshot. Rimshot, old boy. That's Rimshot? Wait sure a second. It wasn't just one of his petrified leavings or something? So, Ernest is out for revenge as the boy figures out what everybody else has 20 minutes ago. Yep. Mother's scared. Yeah, say it again. You may think you're strong now, but I'm drinking my milk. Which will allow me to grow strong bones, clear skin, and of course, make me totally invincible to all satanic troll attacks. Wait, Wait they've done this joke before. <laughs> yep. They did this joke another time. Yes, they did. It keeps you safe from all satanic troll yes, attacks. Yes, they did. So the people it was, the it all was uh, Rachel. She the kept drinking it and the she became a heroin issue. addict. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Where 
was I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's time for Troll Squish Kebab. So Ernest tries to squash the troll, but again, it doesn't work. Too bad there wasn't a fucking net in there. But it doesn't matter. The other trolls are born and run a rampage on the villagers. Look out! We're being attacked I mean... by Rob Zombie's DeviantArt page! Laurel <coughs> selects a ball and steps to the line. It looks like a tricky 7-10 split. Uh, people are probably dying, Ernest. Could you hurry up with your funny little speech there? <laughs> so while being harassed by rejected garbage pail kids, a bunch of the school children pop up with their secret weapon. No. You sure this milk thing's gonna work? Better find out. Let's do a body good, boys. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. That's great. Ooh. Ew. I guess they were lactose implodable. Oh. <laughs> Just look at the grenade. Yep. Hey, butter. Got milk, motherfucker! <laughs> so unfortunately, we're not gonna get that kind of range out of a squirt gun, especially with something as viscous as milk. Hairspray will fix anything. You know, we could That's utilize true. our time a little better if you did less mugging. Oh. Oh. Hold on, Dad! Get your daily intake of calcium, bitches! So Why all you? the trolls Why are destroyed you? except for Trantor, who used all his evil powers to grow a whole three inches taller! Ah! I am grown too strong for that. Not even milk can stop me now. Well, that's a villainous catchphrase you don't hear very often. <laughs> eh, I always said his acting was wooden. <laughs> Damn it. Ernest is Thank up you. against the troll himself, as he somehow figures out that the only way to defeat him is unconditional love. Come on, little fella. Oh, so weird. Nope. Ugh. It's so weird. What are you doing? We're just That's gonna... just silly. Yes, it is, critic. Yes, of it is. Of course, showing unconditional love to kill your enemy. That's the ultimate weapon of destruction, peace and love. What am I missing here? So the children return back to normal as they fly into the arms of their parents. That was really weird. All right. Need to wear depends there, Madre? Or were you oh. really just scared shitless? <laughs> Even some children that were taken years ago were released as well. Wait, sister what? Francis? Is that you? My sister, my sister. Oh. You have quite a bit of adjusting to do. Your years of absence will lead to much psychological scarring, but we'll talk about that later. Welcome back. Yep. That is yeah. one really weird thing. If, if she knew the tree was there, there's nothing in that tree for me. Well, yeah, I guess the trouble is Yeah, there sure. is. What about Rimshot? Rimshot will live. Wow. The dogs, the dogs in the movies. That was his thing. Yeah. I think the one that broke it was uh, Lost World. Oh, God. Well, I'm glad you could sit through it, folks. I know I couldn't have. Tell you what, complimentary milk does on me. That. So that's Ernest scared stupid, and boy, is it stupid. Yep. I mean, even if you don't like the other Ernest movies, you can sense there's a passion and energy to them. Like the people were at least having fun while making it. Sadly, you don't get that here. Everything seems forced, tired, and even unpleasant. It's definitely the weakest of the films released in theaters, and apart from some of Eartha Kitt's overacting, it's pretty forgettable. Jim Varney, God bless him, I'm sure he's trying, but he just needed better direction. It's that horrible combination of boring and unpleasant. In fact, Ernest Scared Boring probably would have been a more appropriate title. But what can you do? I'm a nostalgia critic, and stay tuned. More nostalgia ween is on the way! Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Bat Bargo played by Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Good. <Batman. laughs> man. Oh, man.
Okay. I, wa- I watched a ton of Ernest movies when I was a kid. I watched one, and it was this one. I do not remember actually watching this, but I have vague memories of some of the scenes he showed, and I don't know why. I, I absolutely, like, we watched these all the time. Did you watch, uh, the one? I think the first one was Ernest Goes to Camp? Yep, watch that one. Oh. Uh, Ernest Goes to Prison, I yep. think? Ernest, go, Ernest Goes to Jail, yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that got, cr- that got crazy. Like, Didn't he, like, make a gun out of soap? Yeah, I took a bar of soap and carved a gun out of it. It was like an M16. It was like he had like a little bar of soap and then like rifle. <laughs> Ow, and, uh, I have no idea. Ernest Saves Christmas was tremendous. I haven't That's, seen I haven't seen any God. of these except for this one. F- Flying Santa sleigh with a couple of elves in tow tells him, "Hold on to your later hose and razor ears. We're going in under the radar." <laughs> Actually, pretty damn Some of funny. the lines in these things are ridiculous. That's pretty damn funny. Oh, I love it. But yeah, this movie scared the ever loving crap out of me when I was a kid. I hate that mo- little monster. <laughs> I didn't even know he had a name. Like, I never caught that back in the day. Trantor. Trantor. Now, Trogdor, that's a scary name. That's I mean, me. burning all the people in the thatched roof cottages. Thatched roof cottages. Jesus. <sighs> what can you do, ladies and, and that's gentlemen? That's what happens when you let the cheat direct a movie. I believe Meow. it. No, you're still grounded from the light switch rave. Mm. Jesus. Meow. All right. This. Anyway. This was. This was. Okay, Jim Varney, who actually, okay, funnily enough, he was a Shakespearean trained actor. And you notice I said was, because yeah. unfortunately he passed away, I think it was 2000 or 2001. He was he was the OG slinky dog in Toy Story, wasn't he? Yep, and uh, he actually was replaced by the same guy who did Farmer Fran from, uh, from The Waterboy. Okay. Whew. Yeah. Oh, we're making deep cuts now. Yeah. Good God. But honestly, uh, well, actually, he never got to see Toy Story 2 because it came out, I think, uh, right when he started getting sick and he Mm. wasn't able to watch it, which is unfortunate. And and actually, okay, I heard that, you know, from a lot of people, he's like, he was like the nicest guy. Mm -hmm. Like, Oh, I nobody, fully believe like, that. Nobody ever had a bad word to say about him. Everyone just liked him. Everyone liked him. They liked what he, you know, they, you know, what he uh, had to say, and it, it just. And I don't think he was that old either. I think he was like only fifty something. And the reason he died was uh, cancer. It was a, a throat cancer from him uh, smoking. Hmm. He he liked to smoke, I think, and um, well. Shit happens, I guess. But yep. I, honestly, I I wanted to go back and watch more of the Ernest movies, but I never took the time to do it. The only th- other time I did see a little bit of Ern- something Ernest, I came to my cousin's house, Zach. I actually came mm-hmm. to his house, mm-hmm. and uh, well, we uh, <laughs> uh, I I went there and they were watching uh, Ernest Goes to Prison. That's how I know about the uh, bar of soap yeah. gun. I saw that you know he was sitting there carving, and I'm like, "What is this?" And it's like, uh, "It's uh, Ernest goes uh, Ernest goes to jail," and I'm like, "Oh, I've never I've never seen I've never seen that." And he's like, and my cousin looks at it, he's like, "It's funny." I'm like, "I have to look up this list now." The because the I don't. There's a lot of them. Slam Dunk Ernest uh, was one with Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Yet yes, you heard right. <laughs> the the line that the turtles say at Ernest goes to camp. I used to say it a lot because the tur- one of the turtles would say, "I'm scared, Sarge," and then he'd go, "We're all scared, son." <laughs> they launch him out of the <laughs> catapult. Okay, oh, here man. we are. Er- his his middle name P. Power tools. Really, I did not know that. Oh Lord. Okay, Ernest here we go. Power tools work. I've got I've got them all here. Ernest goes to camp. Yep. Seen Ernest it. saves Christmas. Seen it. Ernest goes to jail. Yep. 
Ernest scared stupid. Mm-hmm. Ernest rides again. Ernest rides again. Mm-hmm. That sound that rings a bell. Ernest goes to school. What? Slam dunk Ernest. Okay, there's some things I have not seen. Now there are two more at the bottom. Go with me on this. Yeah, yeah, this is Ernest of- goes to Africa. <laughs> have I seen that one? That sounds familiar. <laughs> and Ernest in the army. <laughs> I have work to do now. Uh, no, there's actually one more. Uh, there was a pre. There was, there was a, there one was, before. Yeah, one was, cameo, was a cameo that he made before. An unnamed cameo in Doctor Otto and the Riddle, Riddle of, of the, the Gloom, Gloom Beam. Beam. Good lord! It starred Jim Varney. But as, Ernest, as Ernest? No. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, there was actually in 1990, there was another Ernest film that was in development called Ernest Spaced Out. Oh, man. But unfortunately... That's terrible. But unfortunately, uh, they couldn't get uh, a budget approved for it. Let's uh, see. So there there are... Um, there were six Ernest films reported to be in development. There was Ernest and the Voodoo Curse. Uh Oh, Ernest, man, he was only 50. Yeah, Ernest Damn. the Pirate. Oh, I heard about that. Oh, I, I saw man. that one on there, too. Good God. I saw that one on there. I don't care what anyone says. I love Ernest, but I hate that little troll. <laughs> <laughs> you just like watching bad movies, don't you? Uh, uh, okay, in my opinion, a bad movie, but to you, they're awesome. Right? I don't qualify these as bad movies. I love these. Okay, there you go. Simpsons Everybody's parodies. got an opinion. Ernest needs a kidney. Oh, my goodness. What? Ernest versus the Pope. I think you're making these up now. These are Simpsons parodies. Oh, Simpsons parodies. Yeah, I was these like, are not okay. real. Yeah, Ernest goes to Broadway. <laughs> Ernest goes straight to video. <laughs> oh. And Ernest goes somewhere cheap. <laughs> <coughs> There's actually one in uh, in uh, Family Guy too. It was uh, Peter at the video store, and it's like the video store will be closing in 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 two minutes. And he was sitting there holding two VHSs. It was Ernest goes to the beach. Er, Ernest goes to the beach. Ernest does not go to the beach. And uh, they were just like, they're just like, it's like one minute to closing. Peter's like, <laughs> couldn't choose. <laughs> oh, video rental stores. In God. October 2012, a film reboot was announced. Oh no! Tentatively titled Son of Ernest. Oh, oh no. no! That would be weird. And who did they... they? No, there is no other information ah. outside of it would presumably focus on his long lost son, Ernie P. Whirl. This is. <laughs> I'm I'm looking up. The... Okay, the article that they got that information from is gone. No longer exists. Damn. So okay. I got nothing. That's interesting. <sighs> All right. So But there there you I, go. Wow. Mind blown. <laughs> I I I can't. I can't. I can't. How? Who could? Honestly, who could? You know what you can do? What? Check underneath your vehicles for trolls. This is true. This is very true. Saves lives. And Troll can't get under my car. Clearance is too. And it might. Clarence is too well. I'm saying you he saw can him. Dig under there. He's sneaky. Do all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everyone. I have a strange feeling I'm gonna get attacked by a satanic troll monster as soon as I leave here. So I'm just gonna get right to it. So I really gotta work on that chassis mounted flamethrower. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you all enjoyed this. I did. This was a huge nostalgia trip for me. <laughs> and uh, for better point. or worse, I'm that's the point of the video. Literally going to jump out the window onto my truck and climb in through the window so my feet don't <laughs> have to touch the ground because I know he's waiting for me because I uh, hate him. <laughs> and yeah, uh, you could probably make that jump. You could. you could. Oh, I know I could. I planned this out. I've, I know things. <laughs> yeah, it was like that at the old place too. Except then there was a door you could actually go out. Just here, jump off just, the balcony into yeah. the bed of the truck. Yeah. Door windows are just handleless doors. <laughs> So that yeah, being said, Mike Salyer, 2017, you like make- windows are just handleless doors. And you know what? When I jump out, I'm going to turn back. I'm going to go, I'm scared, Sarge. I'm- We're all scared, son. And I was going to jump. <laughs> I, you don't jump. I just <laughs> shove you out the this window. We're all scared, acceptable. son. Wow! 
Except right? that he lands, and then the scream happens. Just because we're not that far up. No, it's we're like not. The... <sighs> but they don't know that. For all they know, we're in like a 20-story a high rise. God, no. Are we? No, we're not. We're not. We're on the second story, though. <laughs> all right. Uh, he leaves all Adam. right. Well, <laughs> all that being said, hopefully you all enjoyed this, and hopefully I don't get attacked by a troll on my way home, and I will see you all very soon with these two guys. So catch you later. Punch your brother for me. <laughs>